Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today a platform pop-up using Lawn Fawn's Hey There, Hey Rides stamp set and the Big Cheese add-on for that one as well. So I'm going to bring in those Big Cheese and the row of mice, the tractor, the wagon, a couple of other elements possibly from that stamp set. And then I'm going to bring in the Cheese the Day stamp set from Ink Road Stamps for some sentiments. And then I will be bringing in a new to me paper pack farmer's market for that green plaid there for my actual platform pop up. And then I'm going to bring in this panel or this eight by I think it's an eight by six or six by eight from Simple Stories. It's also a farm themed one. And I'm just going to end up cutting off that top panel there. It's already like farm ready to go like and I just worked so well here. I could have maybe cut it a little bit differently that I could have maybe gotten a little bit more of the house, a little less of the chicken coop, but you know me, I like chickens. I will clean the coop before I will clean my house, probably because it's a lot easier to clean the coop than it is the house, but you know. I don't actually measure anything with a ruler. I just kind of measure it with my platform pop-up that's already cut out. I have a stencil somewhere or template that I made somewhere. I just don't know where it currently is located. So I'm just going to come in here and kind of add some little fold lines. You could definitely go ahead and measure, score, do all of those things. I just find this a lot easier. So because I cut it a little bit longer, and I was afraid I didn't cut it long enough at this point because I added that adhesive and Kate did this at Kate's Craft with her um, Get Creepy Nun Halloween, I think it was for last month, where she had actually put that back panel on before she actually assembled the platform pop-up. Brilliant, Kate. And so I was like, well, that just makes sense. Like, as I struggled to get it to stay on sometimes when I add it later. So I was kind of thinking I maybe should have cut it a little bit longer there, but it ended up working out just fine. As long as you don't have any adhesive sticking below where your pattern paper sits, you're just fine. You don't have to worry about it sticking to the platform pop-up and making it not work. So I did go ahead and add my double-sided adhesive to my platform pop-up before I assembled here so you didn't see me add it but it is on there and then I'm just going to glue on that middle piece. I like to just die cut a middle piece. I don't use the T for that. Very seldom do I ever use the T for that one anymore. I just tend to die cut a piece that is smaller than the width of the platform pop up. No, I don't measure. I definitely just kind of go with, you know, use it as my, my ruler. And then I'm going to take in that grass piece here and I just cut down a little bit at the front so it hangs a little lower than the pieces behind it. So it kind of gives, you know, the tiered effect. So your back one, your back panel is maybe the tallest of those three levels of grass or tiers of grass. I don't know what you want to call them. So to assemble this one, I'm going to actually line up the middle first. This way I know that it's going to sit better and that I don't have to worry about my lines not lining up. And then to close up the sides, I will just close them up right here just like this. It just makes it, I think it's one of those cheats that you find along the road that just works well for you. So my top piece here had like the little glue that was left from the paper pack because I didn't actually cut that top piece. So I'm just bringing in a nail file here and kind of filing off, just kind of get the goobers off the top. And so that worked well. Anyways, so now to figure out my little wagon and my my wagon and my tractor here. So I'm going to add my tractor and wagon onto each other. I'm going to glue this all together before I add it to my grass in my platform pop-up. So I like to make, you know, the what's going to be sticking out the top match what's in those little things, unless I color it where it's a solid color. And because it, to me, it's like, you know, a 
I don't know how to explain it. When most hay racks aren't solid, they have like, you know, they're just like a cage or a mesh to like catch the bales or hold them on there. And so I always think of it as see-through for the most part. So I like to match that to whatever my image is. So if it's going to be straw, which is yellow, or hay, which is green. So that's kind of how I go with that one. And then, of course, I'm adding in a bunch of the little pieces of cheese. So I pulled the cheese from the um, Crazy Antic stamp set because I wanted a bunch of cheese. So this one is actually going for my nephew who just turned five. And I just thought it would be kind of funny. He likes cheese. And so I just thought it would be cute to make like, you know, the little farmer mouse is out in the field picking his cheese. I know that's not how it works at dairy farm. So, you know, I wish it worked that easy. But, and then of course I have the little mice here in the row and I kind of had thought about putting them back behind and I really like them right in front here. They just kind of fit really good right in front of that platform pop-up. And then, of course, this way I could add some of that cheese to the front piece of grass here. Because in the background, it kind of gets lost when you're looking at it straight on just because that tractor and wagon is so large. So for this piece here, I was trying to decide what I was going to do. And then I was like, oh. I was reading my sentiments on my Cheese the Day stamp set. And this one here, and I was just like, oh. It just like finished it off and it made this perfect. So I ended up taking that same grass, cutting it from that square that comes with the platform pop-up. And then I'm going to selectively stamp here from my stamp from the cheese that I stamp set. And it says sweet dreams are made of cheese. And then there's the rest of the sentiment, but I wasn't using that. I just loved that whole, and it worked perfectly. It fit perfectly. It was awesome. I was so happy when it when it worked. So I had to go and dig through my stash and find find a mouse that looked like he was taking a little siesta because I just thought it would be really cute. So this is him taking his little nap, and of course he's dreaming of cheese fields. You know, not that they really happen, but it just kind of like made the whole thing work. Because it was like, yep, he's sitting down here taking a little siesta in his little dream world. He's got like, you know, cheese ready for the, ripe for the picking out in the field. Like a cheese crop. Yeah. I just thought it was cute. So then I'm bringing in little puffs of smoke for the tractor and using them as his thought bubble or his dream sequence bubbles from his head. And then, of course, I had to bring in... That little thought, not thought, the speech bubble. There we go. It, it'll come to me one of these days. So I'm bringing in that little speech bubble that says, hey, big cheese, and adding that to the little mouse that's sitting in the tractor. And then I just loved how it turned out. It was totally cheesy, but it totally worked. So for my sentiment on the back panel here, I'm going to bring in another sentiment. It did not fit on that little square box. And so I decided to add it onto my panel. So I'm going to flatten my platform pop up. And the best spot to put this was way on top because I'm not going to run into a whole lot of problems here. And so using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink, you usually get a good impression the first time. I probably should have put it in my Misty and made sure I got a good impression, but it worked. So all was good. So I hope you have a really good day. See, it's totally cheesy and I totally love it. Bringing in the Hey There stamp set, I am going to be using the Happy and Birthday from that one. So I'm just going to selectively mask without having to clean off my stamp because, you know, sometimes I get lazy. And then for this one, I am going to add some double-sided adhesive on it, but I'm not actually going to pull it. So I will just use some removable adhesive so I can just set that on there so you know where it's going to be placed. And this way I can pull it off, write his name on it, write, you know, a sweet little message, and then I can peel off the stick and stick it on there for good. And 
you know, not have to worry about writing over bumpies. I do it all the time when it comes to my platform pop-ups. So there is my finished cheesy card for the day. I hope you have an amazingly cheesy day. <laughs> Keep getting winky. Bye.